Hey everyone, this is Clan of Gamer here with some more post commentary again for Crash Bash. This is the final part that I'm going to be uploading for this weekend. Um, th now, this is a relic challenge for Dot Dash, and I failed so many times on this. Like, you won't believe how like how many minutes it took me to get this. So it took me like, pff, pff, I think at least a half an hour. Because I mean, I, I, like in the last part, I did like it was just deleted. I had like 20 minutes worth of footage of me failing. And obviously I didn't do any commentary for it because I thought I'd be better concentrating without it. But obviously it just comes down to luck as I said before um, in my previous parts. But um, my strategy here is obviously don't rub against the wall like what I did. Um, and yes, that that was a weird glitch that happened there. I don't know how that happened. It's like the missile hits me once I've done it and then the rounds just repeats themselves again. But never mind. Uh, yeah, my strategy for this is basically get all the Wumper Fruit that you can and make sure the other computers don't get it, if possible. And just speed uh, like as much as you possibly can to the finish line w well, without the other computers getting to the finish line first. And also collect the missiles as well and try and uh, hit the other, other computers and try and knock them off the arena if you can. Because if you do, you'll be a huge advantage. And um, basically, I didn't really collect all the wimp through my previous parts. That's probably why I failed so many times. But there was no problem here, as I managed to regain concentration and I managed to pull it off, like that. Um, so that's when we collected all the gold relics for Warp and Free. And um, basically, Warp and Free is a bit of a challenge, I think, for the gold relics. But uh, I'll see you next time around when I get the. Uh, gold relics for Warp Room 4.